Now listen to Jesus' words to the 12, well, 11 at, the, at this time, in Mark 16, 14. And afterward, he appeared, he being Jesus, unto the 11 as they sat at meat, and abrighteth them for their unbelief and hardness of heart. Why did Jesus do that to his 11 apostles that gave up everything? They followed him. They left their business, their money, their family. They left everything. And Jesus, after he rose from the dead, abradeth them for their unbelief and hardness of heart. In what? What was the, what was the unbelief in? Because they believed not them which had seen him after he was risen. They didn't even believe that Jesus rose from the dead after he told them he would, after he died, after it was prophesied in the Old Testament. They didn't even believe the scriptures. They didn't believe the witnesses. They didn't believe Jesus. Can Peter's and the other ten's gospel, the gospel of the kingdom, be the same gospel as the gospel of the grace of God by which we are saved? Absolutely not. Totally, 100% impossible. Here's the setting. Jesus told them he was going to go to the cross. They didn't believe it. Jesus rose from the dead and still was, wit after it was witnessed by others and told to them, they still didn't believe it. And Jesus balls them out for not believing it. No, the gospels cannot be the same. The gospel of the kingdom is not the gospel of the grace of God. Hopefully you see that. Interesting. You can't argue with these. This is not an interpretation. This is words on a page, a narrative, a history of what happened. And so hopefully you, you see that. And why is this important? Why is it even important? Who cares if we mix up gospels and, you know, there's four, five, six, even seven gospels that someone uh, has said. I know there's at least four or five. <clears throat> But why does this even matter? Well, it matters because if you think the gospel of the kingdom is your gospel, you'll be keeping the law. You'll be doing sacrifices. You'll be tithing. You'll be getting forgiveness only if you get, forgive others. And so all the things that encompass the gospel of the kingdom, you start mixing in. And when you mix works and grace, you no longer have salvation by grace alone, which means you don't have the gospel that saves us today. That's why it's important. It's important to understand the true gospel that saves us by grace, through faith alone, in Christ alone. And it is, of course, his death and burial, resurrection, his shed blood that was not preached under the gospel of the kingdom that saves us today. Thanks for your time. Have a great day.